So what we're doing here basically is uh, I'm going to show you how uh, when your dog has scale and crust and stuff on their skin or they're just plain dirty that how you clean them. Uh, this is Ajax. He's my little man and um, I'm going to be uh, using him for the demonstration. So if uh, Ajax had crusts and scales on his coat um, and he'd probably be on the floor and I'd be doing this a lot faster um, but basically you need a uh, this kind of a brush, these are slicker brushes. Uh, they're really fine little uh, aluminum uh, or stainless bristles. There's a hundred thousand of them on each thing and they pick up hair really good, really fast. And uh, so what I would do with this is I would brush them out very thoroughly. Not as much attention to the head and neck because this can be kind of irritating, but it removes a lot of uh, dead fur and dead fur and dead skin are uh, not very good for a dog's uh, skin. Uh, in nature, dogs swim on the daily, uh, or at least they have the opportunity to swim on the daily uh, because they go to water every morning and every night. In nature, you never find them too far from water. Well, what I'm doing with these brushes is I'm raising the, the dead skin. So if he had dandruff, he would be getting a lot worse dandruff right now, or at least the dandruff would start to appear. And what I'm actually doing too, and not only just lifting the nap of his skin, but I'm also removing um, his winter coat, which he was in the process of blowing. So. Not everybody has a perfect dog like me. Um, and Ajax knows that he's perfect. But all of this hair staying on the dog is not very good for their coat. And if this hair was dying from, uh, say, a superficial bacterial infection or something, it would be, um, it would be complicating the disorder very greatly. Sorry, buddy. These brushes aren't uh, particularly well suited for bellies. Um, it would be very, very irritating. But if you ever use one of these bristle, these brushes on your uh, on your arm, you'll see that they're actually not they're not particularly uncomfortable. Like that. But this is only half the job. And this really is not that important uh, after the initial shed uh, in the season uh, or the last of the year. But you, you can tell when they're shedding a lot, it's a good time to do this. So I'm doing a lot and I do uh, all this with the grain of the hair. Getting a lot of hair off of them. All right, step two is go against the grain. So far we have removed this much hair. And now I'm going against the grain. and then that fills the, the hairbrush even faster. And I have to try to stay ahead of that because after a minute, the law of diminishing returns is the brush can't hold any more hair. The bristles get lost in that. And then you can't catch, you can't pull any more hair. Say your dog has hair that's too long. Your dog has hair that is uh, too long for this kind of brushing. Just crew cut them. 
If your dog is having skin problems or crusting or something like that, they do better with um, they do better with uh, a buzz cut anyway. I wouldn't even really have any problem sh shaving uh, Ajax down to the skin if he was having a problem. But this is, now we're 25% of the way finished. I mean, he looks terrible because I have removed a bunch of his hair. I have stirred up every bit of dandruff that he has. And I've not used any water yet and I've not used any detergents or cleansers or soaps or shampoos or anything. Actually, I don't really have any plans to. Still, <clears throat> getting a lot of stuff off of them. Um, but this is, I mean, he's, he hasn't been groomed since uh, last year. So, I'm not really surprised I'm getting this much hair off. But, I mean, you can see he looks even dull. Because it has so much dandruff. Good breath, buddy. You're getting a dental tomorrow. That's for sure. Still so much hair coming off of him. But I'm going to let that be it for now. Because step... Three is the hot washcloth. Stay right there, sir. And I showed you a video of produ producing these. It's basically just putting some hot water in the sink, getting a crappy towel from Goodwill or something, and then uh, using the, the towel on him. Then I like using two of these because um, you can kind of control where he is and what he does with both towels. So what these towels are doing is they're moisturizing his fur directly with real water. They are also uh, happen to make the towels with the hot water on them stickier for dandruff than his own oils. So. Uh, you're basically cleaning him uh, and removing the, the dandruff that you stirred up. There's a lot of the against the grain part. With that. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, I don't necessarily recommend this, but I do it with Ajax anyway, and that's the use of mink oil. You can get this on Amazon, and I don't use much of it at all, because I don't really want them smelling like tanned leather, although a little bit of it is kind of cool. It smells like hunting boots or something, but the... Uh, it's a mink oil. It's 100% pure mink oil. It comes from 
like I said, from Amazon is fine. This happens to be red mousse, pure mink oil. And so I just take a very small amount like that. I take a very small amount like that. And see, he's wet. So it's gonna go on a little bit more evenly, distribute itself through his hair while he's drying. You're such a good boy, eh, Jax? Yes, you are. And you can feel it when it first goes on, your hands are all oily, and then as you do it, his, uh, your hands are less and less oily as his hair picks it up. And then before you worry that his hair is going to be oily, you keep rubbing it, and eventually his hair doesn't even feel oily. It's like it just disappears into his coat. But see, look how much extra more hair came off. It's like there's an unlimited supply. He was walking around with that 20 minutes ago. He had all of that was on him. No wonder you're, you were looking crummy and being kind of itchy. All right, so let me, uh, one last thing that we do. Really is not even necessary. I could turn him out and he'd be fine, but I'm going to kind of dry him. Mm-hmm. You are such a good boy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's gonna get his teeth cleaned tomorrow. His breath is some kind of awful. Ooh. Ajax weighs 60 pounds. Mm -hmm. He weighs 60 pounds. That's a pretty weight on you. You're nice and trim. See how like where he sits, this doesn't pooch over his knee. That's kind of one way that you can tell his weight is good. All right, so I dried him, but I didn't dry him against the grain because I don't want all my mink oil to go away. And then just, I don't know, last maybe beautification step. I'm just going to brush him with the grain. Maybe help distribute the mink oil into his coat a little bit better. I did not come up with the mink oil idea. One of my clients did. She had a dachshund that would come in and he had itchy skin issues and stuff. And um, she went and I don't know where she heard about it. She went and got some ink oil. It was Kiwi shoe polish at the time back then. And she went and got Kiwi shoe polish and rubbed it into the dog's coat. Solved the itching problem. It's cool. You're beautiful now, sir. And that's it. Can I move? Nope. All right. Let's get you down. Clean up this mess. <laughs>